Hello and welcome to Michael's Microtonal Method, Episode 3, The Seventh Harmonic. So let's start right in with the F horn. Harmonics 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we get some of these intervals here. The interval between the 4th harmonic and the 7th. 7 to 4. 5 to 7, 7, 5, uh, 6, 7, and 7, 6, right, the narrow minor third, we hear the augmented, um, sorry, the diminished fifth, and now we're here, so the wide major second, eight to seven. Wide major third, nine seven. And the augmented fourth, ten to seven. And we'll stop there. If we go higher to the eleventh harmonic, we then come into the realm of the eleven limit intervals. And we'll do that in the next episode. So we've got some nice um, intervals associated there. And now let's just explore uh, what happens with, um, so this seventh harmonica on the horn is a written B flat. And the other intervals, the other um, ways of playing a B flat using the uh, limits we had in previous episodes. So the three limit uh, B flat is worked like this. So I've tuned the E flat horn to the F. So we go C to F and F to B flat, and there's our B flat. A three limit one. That's the ratio 16 to 9. So here's a, a five limit one. So what I'm going to do here is that's on the F horn. C and G. Now I'm adjusting the B flat horn, the what's the technically the A flat horn. The first slide I've pushed in, so they match. The two G's match, and now the B flat will be up there, nice and high. This is the ratio nine to five. You hear the difference between the three limit and the five limit. And now here's the seven limit. So in, des in descending order of high to low. Low to high. Some nice shifts there. Just by a simple little bit of tuning. All right. Now, uh, there's lots of seventh harmonics we can use on the, on the um, double horn. So each of these, um, well, there's 16 tube lengths. They've each got their own um, seventh harmonic. And so what can be nice to do is, is the intersection between the third harmonic or the sixth harmonic, usually in the octave we need it, the fifth harmonic and a seventh harmonic. And I'll play you a few. So here's the one we just have. Um, even if I just put the slide back to normal. So we've got, here we have... Um, and using the tenth harmonic of the um, B horn, it's actually sharper than we'd expect. We'd expect it to be low, but it's all three slides together. So maybe this one's the least useful one. Because it's not quite working how we want. But if we go semi like a, um, let's go tone lower. So we use this note here. So sixth harmonic of the G flat horn. The fifth harmonic of the A horn. So this is a written A flat or a G sharp on the horn. And then we use the seventh harmonic of the E flat horn. And we get some nice shifts that way. 
you can do that a semitone lower. The, the lowest one we can do um, sort of really effectively is here. So that's um, a written F for us. That's a sixth harmonic. That's the fifth harmonic of the G flat horn. And the seventh harmonic of the C horn. And the, the seventh harmonic of the C horn is not as flat as we'd expect. So, um, so with, with a bit of care, but we can easily shift that with a bit of lip. That's not hard to shift that one. And the highest one we can go up to is up here. So we've got um, this note. For us, a written E flat. I'm playing this on the on the G flat horn or the F sharp horn. It's the ninth harmonic, and therefore we can play the tenth harmonic of an E horn. Easy to play, and the seventh harmonic of your B flat horn. So. So there's a nice little shifts there. All right, so there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, they'll be up. I'll put. I'm putting a transcript of this, and you'll see a, a slightly bigger chart there, going through the ones that are, are possible. Um, so you just have to work out uh, the written pitch. So if it says, um, you know, the last one we did is all written our written E flat, uh, top space of the treble clef. All right, so you can work it out from there. So, look, the other beautiful thing we can do is we can do things like tuning um, parts of the horn to a seventh harmonic. So, let's say, for instance, we've got, and we want to tune the, um, the E flat horn eighth harmonic to that. Still a bit sharp, pull it out a bit further. So, look, the slide doesn't have much further to go. So. You can see it there, pulled out. It's a tiny bit sharp, but that's about it. It's going to fall out soon. And then we can go down another tone. And then we get that really close interval between our written A flat on which is on the so it's basically the 49th harmonic of a you know it's the seventh harmonic of a seventh harmonic uh, compared to where we started so so that interval there very narrow interval 37 cents if you're interested or we could call it the ratio 49 to 48 so you can, you can do nice, neat things like that on the horn uh, without much trouble at all, really. So. Look, we'll leave it there uh, for this episode. There's some beaut chords and things. I think I'll do that in a separate video uh, at some stage. Um, play a few chords, show uh, what's nice. Some chord spacings, you know, um, harmonics four and six and seven, like, and um, or six, seven, eight, or six, seven, nine, this sort of thing. So some nice ones to play, and um, we'll set up a different video for a few different chords. All right. So there's a short introduction to the seventh harmonic and some of the possibilities on the uh, standard double horn.